Indian history, 16th and 17th century. Many changes were brought in the Indian history, 16th and 17th century was quite different from the current. Earlier there was medieval period, but now modern period came into existence. Let us have a look on the periods the historians have divided for us to study more easily. Medieval period Medieval India refers to the post-classical era, that is, 8th to 18th century, CE in the Indian subcontinent. It is divided into two periods, the early medieval period which lasted from the 8th to the 13th century and the late medieval period which lasted from the 13th to the 18th century. About medieval period, this period tells that the society in which we are living is more civilized and advanced than the past years. Historians use the term Middle Ages to refer to the European period. Beginning of this period In 476 AD, when rule of Roman Empire exits from the Europe, this period came into existence. Ending of this period Between early 15th century to the mid 17th century, this period ends. The list of empires whose traces are found in Indian history during the medieval period are Chola Empire, Hoysala Empire, Kakatiya Kingdom, Rigartha Kingdom, Delhi Sultanate, Maratha Empire, Mughal Empire, Ahom Kingdom, Reddy Kingdom, Vijayanagara Empire, Gajapati Kingdom, Deccan Sultanates, Sikh Empire. Now have a look on modern period. The modern history referred to as the modern period or the modern era can be found broken down into the period and the late modern period after the French Revolution and the Industrial Revolution. The early modern period in history, the early modern period of modern history, follows the late Middle Ages of the era. It lasted from circa 1500 to around circa 1800. This period includes the Renaissance, the Reformation and Counter-Reformation, the Age of Discovery, Rise of Capitalism. And if we talk about late modern period, it is the late part of the modern period follows the 17th century. Philosophy and Art in this period Late Modernism, Late, Liquid or High Modernity Now let's see the modern period. It tells us how and why Americans adopted radically new methods of managing and thinking during the 20th century. Scientific methods were developed which led many to believe that the use of science would lead to all knowledge, thus throwing back the shroud of myth under which pre-modern people lived. Now, lastly, we will study the differences between medieval and modern period. Medieval peasants worked the land and lived in villages, while modern peasants looked busy in offices and lived in condos. Feudalism was a pyramid-shaped political and economic system with kings and royalty at the top and serfs at the bottom. This can be compared to modern capitalism with tiny controlling elite at the top ruling over the middle and lower classes. Religion dominated the art and architecture along with the political, cultural and scientific thinking of medieval times. While still important in modern times, the courthouse has replaced the church as the centre of the village. Conducting large-scale wars was a historically significant activity of both time periods. The Hundred Years' War dominated medieval times while First and Second World Wars were central events in modern history. Middle Age talks of the 18th and the 19th century, when the two world wars took place and the Industrial Revolution took place. Modern Age talks about the 20th century in particular, when the world was at its best in development and gave way to a lot of problems worldwide.